guys, welcome to my channel. I'm the Savvy Daughter and I'm so glad that you guys are here today. I've got beans to get planted. Green beans for the bed that's in front of me and lima beans for my raised bed that I built a little while ago. As I plant today, I'm gonna to be sharing some information and tips that I have on growing beans that might help you guys grow your own beans this garden season or in the future. Come along with me, let's get started. Now there are two main kinds of beans. You've got bush beans and you've got pole beans. Bush beans are a better choice for growing if you've got a small growing space or if you don't want to build a trellis. They don't require any maintenance really because you don't have to support them on anything. They stay really small and they'll produce some beans. And then pole beans, they get really large. They require some sort of trellis to support them or else, I mean, they'll just, they'll just be a disaster if you don't support them with a trellis. Just think about the amount of space that you have and the amount of time that you wanna put into growing beans to determine what kind of beans you want to grow. Beans have the ability to fix nitrogen in the soil. They can take oxygen and turn it into nitrogen, basically. And nitrogen is something that your plants have to have to be able to grow. And beans are really amazing because they create their own nitrogen. Basically, this means that they don't require any fertilizer. I mean, there's a pretty big debate on whether or not you should fertilize beans. Um, so I shouldn't just say they don't require any fertilizer because some people would say that's absolutely not true. One thing that people use beans for really often is like a cover crop. Like people will plant beans in one spot so that their soil will get more nitrogen in it and then they'll, you know, pull the beans up and plant the thing that they really wanted to plant in that spot and whatever they actually wanted to plant will benefit from the beans that were there because then the soil will have nitrogen in it. And that's a really interesting thing that beans do. I mean, they take oxygen, they can turn it into the thing that makes plants grow. So it's really amazing. Beans are really fascinating. I mean, people use them in like crop rotation. You don't want to plant one singular crop in a field, like in, in farming. You don't want to plant corn in a field year after year after year. You want to plant corn and then you want to plant beans. You want to plant different crops in the same field so that the soil doesn't get worn out. Because if you just plant one singular crop, so which is corn again and again and again, you'll wear the nutrients out of your soil. So basically, if you rotate between crops, then you're gonna keep your soil a lot healthier. And that's the same thing, you know, on small level gardening, whether you're planting 300 acres or a one singular bed of beans, it, it matters what you plant year to year. And same as if you're growing anything, you want to have good quality soil to grow your beans in. If you don't have good quality soil, then they're not gonna grow like they're supposed to. Um, I tried to grow green beans last year and my crop lasted about 10 minutes. So at least that's what it felt like. I planted some seeds and I know now looking back that my soil quality at the time was extremely poor and you know, my green beans weren't gonna work anyway. I've learned a lot since last year and um, I realize now that that crop was kind of doomed for failure from the beginning, but basically I planted green beans, they sprouted and then they were eaten by something just like that. I mean, every single one just like chopped off and there was no sign of them. They were just completely gone. So I hope that this year I have some more luck than I did last year. I mean, even if I just get them to grow about this tall, it will have already been more success than I had last year. So that's good, but I'm not planting them deep, just like an inch or two. You don't want to plant your seeds deep because as soon as they start growing, they need to see sunlight. Watching things grow is one of my very favorite things. I really enjoy growing plants. As I am coming to the end of planting my garden this year, I am hopeful that I'm gonna have some, some success with my vegetables this growing season. And I'm also just really glad that I've taken the time to learn about the vegetables that I have in my garden because it's gonna help me grow more successful crops in the future. I mean, how cool is it that you stick some seeds in the ground, you know, it's this big, this tiny little seed, and you wait, you know, you water it, you make sure it's in the right conditions, and, and then it grows, and like, you get food from it. As your beans grow, you want to make sure that they get plenty of water, and also when you're thinking about a spot to put your beans, you want to make sure that you've got a place to put them in full sun. Your beans are gonna need quite a bit of sun to grow and thrive. I can confidently say that I've done everything I can to make sure my beans are in a position to start growing and producing. They're in direct sunlight, I'm gonna give them plenty of water and they're in good conditioned soil. 
As long as you have those three things, you can grow a whole lot of things. So I'm hopeful that I'm gonna get some green beans this year and that my beans are gonna just start growing and show some real enthusiasm for growing. So I don't know, you know, I, have, I don't know how this is gonna work out, but I'm definitely excited to watch and see if I can get some beans. I know that raised bed gardening is a really popular thing and I totally understand the appeal. I mean, if you can get your garden off the ground so that you're not constantly bending over to weed and water and everything else, it's definitely easier on your body and it's just easier in general. If you can control the soil however you want to, if you build a raised bed, you don't have to deal with the natural soil that's in the ground at all. You just fill it up with whatever you want and there you go, there's your soil. So I understand the appeal of a raised bed, but I haven't had one before because I haven't been doing this very long. So I just, I haven't done that much. So this year, I decided to build one and this is kind of a short one but basically I didn't want to have to deal with filling up a tall raised bed with all kinds of material. I made my raised bed a little bit short and you know I don't know how that's gonna go we're just gonna have to see but I put it on a piece of ground cloth so I'm not gonna have to deal with weeds in it and I've just decided to put some lima beans in this raised bed and see what happens. They might do absolutely nothing. I have been mixing in compost so there is compost in this mixture as I've been filling it up which has taken a couple of weeks because I'd put some dirt in it and then it would settle. I'd put some more dirt in it and then it would settle and then I'd have to put some more in it. So finally, I think I've gotten it to where it has settled completely, basically anyway, and it's still piled up just a little bit over the wood. So it shouldn't settle too much more now and I think I've gotten it to a state that I really like it. So I'm ready to plant my lima beans in it and it's just literally a full on experiment. We're gonna see what happens. So just like my green beans, I've got my limas spaced just a couple of inches apart. And once they sprout, I can thin them out if need be, or they might be perfectly fine like that. I'm not sure. Now I cover it in just by taking a little bit of soil and sticking it on top of the seed. You just go, it's just barely covered. And they'll be ready to sprout like that. I'm really excited about this. I love lima beans. I mean, they're like one of my favorite things to eat. I absolutely love them. I always loved it when my dad would grow lima beans when I was little. Like I would watch over that lima bean bed like a hawk and make sure it was completely weeded and mulched and like I would do all of these things when I was really little, like five to eight years old, to make sure that our lima beans were successful because I just loved eating lima beans. So I'll just be interested to see if this red if this raised bed is good enough to produce anything. Um, yeah, I just wanted to give it a try, so I'm going to. I hope this video was helpful to you guys. Um, growing beans is really not hard. They're not a complicated crop. I mean, there's not all that many things that are like really complicated if you just kind of know how to do it. But if you're just a beginner gardener, beans are a good thing to try because they're not difficult at all. You just have to have something to support them, some decent soil, some good conditions, and there you go. But that's the case for most things. You just have to know a few things to get started and figure out what you're doing. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope it was helpful. I'm excited to watch my beans grow now and my entire garden. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one.